Hey everyone, it's Kai here, and on Squad Linux, we'll be looking at Garuda Linux GNOME Edition. They have updated their um, their uh, kernel, and they updated the graphics to four uh, NVIDIA graphics drivers to 455 out of the box for the live environment. Um, that's fantastic to see. I'm glad that they have updated the graphics drivers for uh, NVIDIA cards, which is really good to see. So I don't have any issues recording this now for you guys. Um, which is really cool. Um, I believe all the other distros or uh, the next operating systems will follow suit anyway, so that's good to see. Eventually they will do the same. Um, today we're just checking out the RAM usage and we're gonna see what's a little different of Garuda Linux uh, GNOME Edition over XFCE. So it looks like it's all the same, it's just the full screen applications, obviously, flash, USB flasher, Wi Fi hotspot. Interesting. I've never seen that before. Um, they have green with MV. I don't know what that is. It oh, this tells you. Wow, this tells you what is being what kind of BIOS and um, how many CUDA cores, the dr current drivers, the current temperature. Oh wow, that's that's very nice to see. You can even change the power uh, limit. Interesting. You can overclock. That is cool. That is actually really cool. I, I've never seen this before. This is a really cool update, to say the least. For well, this version of GNOME um, of Garuda. I've never seen this file before. Uh, this program, sorry. Um, that's really cool. You can change the power limit and force limit. You can even do more and stuff like that. You can ch change the fan curve. You can edit the fan curve if needed. Well, I think you have to unlock it though. Unlock the in the settings so you can manually adjust things necessary. Yeah, so I am running a RTX 3070 and with the 455 drivers, everything runs smoothly out of the box. You guys can see it obviously because if it was unable to, this screen would be unrecordable. I wouldn't be able to record the screen at all if it was not, um, you know, up to date to 455 or higher. Um, if I close that, hey, look at that. So now that I close the NVIDIA thing, or the NVIDIA, the NVIDIA green with MV, it stays in the top right corner, stays on the top right corner and tells you how hot your graphics card is. Now that's a nice, that's a nifty um, in, uh, installation, uh, like, uh, so you know how hot your graphics card is. So I might install this on my Manjaro installation. Or my, uh, yeah, so my Manjaro insta installation. You know what? I should really do that. Yeah, perfect. Thank you for um, giving me that idea, Gar uh, Garuda Linux. Thank you for giving that, that idea. It's a great, great um, addition to the uh, operating system. So you know how if your compute, if your operating, your graphics card gets too hot, um, it's really good. You can see in Fahrenheit or in um, Celsius. You can change that. Show GPU and refresh every three in seconds. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, there we go. So I'm. I told it to boot. Uh, uh, launch when booted. Very when booting into the uh, operating system, which I'm not going to install this operating uh, this distro as of yet. Um, I'm still enjoying Manjaro at this time. I may tr install this. Later this week, if I'm up for it, um, and uh, we'll go from there because it's gonna be quite interesting to see how this runs on my computer because um, this is a quite an intense distro. It seems like because you get the Garuda Gamer um, settings I showed you in the previous um, previous uh, what's it called video. Um, you can install Lutris, DXVK, Broxtron, all these different wine variants and stuff like that. So that's really cool to see. OBS Studio is right there. Um, there's a lot of different things you can install, it looks like. And obviously they added the emulator so you can play your Pokemons and Digimons or whatever emulator you want to use or Nintendo 64 or whatnot. Which is cool, which is very cool indeed. Um, yeah, so it's pretty much the same as the other, um, video that we made, I made on, uh, on YouTube. Uh, so there's really not big of a difference, but you know, 
I like how much RAM it uses now compared to the XFC edition. So the XFC edition that I we, we, that we checked out in the past two weeks um, was running around eight gigs of RAM because why the hell not, right? So <laughs> um, no, I think it's just because they recommend people having at least eight gigs of RAM because whatever you're doing may it may consume more RAM depending on how much how much it needs to you know stay stable. Um, yeah, so it's still a fantastic distro. Um, as long as you have the RAM for it, uh, it's a great dis a great um, tryout for an Arch distro. Um, so if you're looking for an Arch distro and you want something like for, um, um, like for gaming and stuff, and you don't want to go through the 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 add and remove software to download everything that's necessary. You can go to Garuda Gamer and it will install everything for you. And you can go from there and um, have some fun. And yeah, looks like they are really coming in hot with uh, the kernel update and the graphics uh, driver update to 455. So great, great job, Garuda. Great job. Hands, you just thumbs up, thumbs up. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, it's not that much of a difference. Let's see the background. Let's see, check if the background, oh, so this is the default background. You can't change the picture. Oh, so I think, I think you have to, um, install, um, uh, the updates for it to add more pictures, I believe, because there's some, there's quite a bit of updates. There's like 13 updates, supposedly. NVIDIA settings, yeah, so NVIDIA settings to 460.27. So this is the, this will be the latest NVIDIA graphics drivers um, when they, when you update. So yeah, the Windows version will be 44, uh, 4.61 uh, version and the, the Linux version of the NVIDIA driver will be 460. Uh, yeah, so 461 for Windows and 460 for Linux, so which is good to see that they're updating that quite quickly um, out of the box, which is really good to see. Um, other than that, there's really not much of a difference, as I said. It looks all the same. Privacy, you can change some camera settings. Thunderbolt. You can save history. Excuse me. Just had lunch, so I'm burping a little bit. Oh my goodness, I don't like burping on video. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, you can change this. You can change how how it locks. You, you can say do not automatically lock screen. No, you don't need to worry about that. Um, you can. So it's basically like GNOME out of the out of the box here, running very nicely. Um, why is it disk capacity seven terabytes? Why is it showing seven terabytes? <gasps> Is it saying all my drives on my computer and then it is determining how much space I have? Interesting. It's determining how my sp how my disk capacity entirely. Interesting. Okay, maybe that's what it is. I think that's what it is it's doing. Yeah, it's determining how, how the disk capacity in, in general. Okay. GNOME version is 3.38.2, which is cool. Windows version, uh, windowing system is X11. Okay, cool, cool. OS Type 64. Graphics using the 3070 and using my i9, 990K, blah, blah, blah. You can change the name, obviously, to what you want. Date and time. I will, don't worry about the date and time because it is, it's, it is incorrect. The time is incorrect, obviously, because it's a live environment. You can automatically log in. You can change whatever you want in the users. Accessibility. Um, the uh, colors, you can change the color system, removal devices, printers, keyboard shortcuts, display, um, power, all that stuff. It's really cool to see. Um, I'm quite happy with what we have. Um, I had to turn on the system. For some other reason, system audio is always muted. For some other reason, it's just weird. Um, you can also take a screenshot over here. We have the screenshot. So the flame shot is a screenshot, so you can take a screenshot and of your whole screen or just the area where you want to screen screenshot, which is cool. You can turn on night mode, which is obviously grayed out by default. 
it's letting you guys know it is grayed out by default so when you turn it on it goes back to normal so now it looks normal so it's looking really good um, I don't know why by default turns on uh, night mode by default which is odd uh, it's telling my mouse is low look at that it also gives you a warning my battery levels are low which is good to know I will change that after this video fantastic thank you very much Garuda Linux thank you very much so you can change the audio here I would have to if I want simultaneous audio again I would have to install the uh, uh, I would have to type in uh, in terminal to enable it um, I'll do a separate video to show you how I did it properly and if you guys need simultaneous audio as well I can do a uh, tutorial how to install it and enable it um, and then yeah it goes from there so everything else is the same as XFC edition nothing changed that much um, it's just gnome edition here which is really cool so um, yeah just check out Garuda Linux I'll put the link in the description for to their website in the description if you guys want to check them out and see if you are willing to try them out what well, depending on what version you're you're uh, interested in and then go from there um, it doesn't automatically disappear apparently there are no, there are notifications that automatically disappear interesting okay cool I might have to configure that if I decide to install this on my main uh, OS as my main OS in the coming weeks um, so stay tuned for that as well. I'll be doing an installation of Garuda Linux on my computer live as well. And we'll go from there in the coming weeks. Um, right now I'm in really enjoying uh, Manjaro 20.2.1. Uh, um, so yeah, we'll be doing some more videos on that as well as some more Fallout, uh, Fallout series uh, playthroughs and other games and uh, tweaking around with uh, Manjaro as well as so, and as well as uh, Garuda Linux here. Um, yeah, so thanks again for watching everyone and I'll see you guys next time. And please comment below what you guys think of Garuda Linux as a whole, if you're quite interested in it or if it's just you feel like it's just too power hungry for you or you just say you might wait a little bit or something like that if you get more RAM or anything like that, please comment below what your thoughts on Garuda Linux is, um, are, sorry. And um, yeah, so uh, I'll see you guys later and uh, hope you have a great week, great day as well, uh, great month, great year. 2021 has arrived. <laughs> Anyways, I'll catch you guys later. Um, so please comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.